Imagine a world where anxiety and worry do not dominate your thoughts, where calm and serenity are not merely aspirational goals, but rather the guiding principles that shape your every step. Today, we invite you to explore this transformative journey together as we delve into the timeless teachings of Marcus Aurelius, the renowned philosopher emperor who, amidst the most chaotic storms of life, managed to cultivate an unshakable inner peace. Marcus Aurelius stands as one of the most prominent figures in Stoic philosophy, a school of thought that emphasizes the importance of virtue, wisdom, and resilience. He was not only a powerful leader who presided over the Roman Empire during tumultuous times, but also a deeply introspective thinker, committed to personal growth and moral integrity. His writings, beautifully compiled in his personal journal known as Meditations, provide invaluable insights into the nature of human existence and offer practical guidance on how to live a life characterized by virtue and tranquility, even in the face of adversity. Through his profound wisdom, we will learn how to transform our worries into driving forces for positive action, reframing challenges as opportunities for growth, and embracing a state of serenity amidst the chaos of everyday life. The lessons derived from Marcus Aurelius's reflections encourage us to accept what we cannot control and to focus on our responses to life's difficulties, ultimately leading to a greater sense of empowerment and peace. In this video, you'll have the unique opportunity to delve deeper into the invaluable lessons Marcus Aurelius has left us, revealing practical practices and profound thoughts that can be applied to strengthen your mind and spirit at any stage of life. By engaging with his philosophy, you will gain tools to lighten the weight of worries that may be holding you back, freeing your mind from unnecessary burdens and fostering a more meaningful existence. If this is your first visit to my channel, I encourage you to seize this opportunity to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Your support is essential for me to continue creating valuable and inspiring content tailored to your needs. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-knowledge and personal growth that could reshape your life. With each lesson presented in this video, you will discover how to embrace a new perspective, one filled with wisdom and inner strength. This isn't just an introduction to Marcus Aurelius's thinking. It's an invitation to undergo a profound and lasting transformation in the way you approach life. We believe this video has the potential to change your life forever, guiding you toward a more peaceful and fulfilling existence. So we suggest that you listen carefully from the beginning allowing your mind to gradually focus on each word and concept presented. As we navigate through Marcus Aurelius's teachings together, prepare yourself to uncover the secrets of cultivating a resilient spirit and a tranquil mind, even amidst the inevitable challenges life presents. Delve deeper into each idea presented and thoughtfully apply them to your personal journey. Every segment of this video is integral to your growth, so be sure to watch until the end. Let's begin our exploration into the art of living as taught by Marcus Aurelius. He is celebrated not only for his role as an emperor, but also for his spiritual insights and philosophical depth. Marcus Aurelius was a great thinker, renowned for his unwavering commitment to morality, loyalty to his principles, and profound philosophical inquiries into the nature of existence. Marcus Aurelius has become an enduring symbol of supreme authority and wisdom. In a world rife with power struggles and excess, he stood as a beacon of integrity and self-discipline. Join us as we unlock the secrets of a life lived with purpose and inner peace, drawing inspiration from his teachings that remain relevant even today. Unlike many of his contemporaries who indulged in the extravagances of Roman life, Marcus Aurelius distinguished himself through his austerity and self-control. While emperors before and after him reveled in lavish banquets filled with excessive wine and participated in the bloody spectacles of the Colosseum, Marcus opted for a different path. His lifestyle was a testament to his belief in moderation and restraint, and he often reflected on the fleeting nature of pleasure and the importance of living a virtuous life. His approach to leadership was profoundly different from that of other Roman emperors. While many sought personal gratification and status, Marcus Aurelius viewed his mission to serve humanity as a noble calling. He saw his role not as a platform for self-indulgence, but as a profound responsibility entrusted to him by fate. This belief fueled his dedication to fulfilling the purpose of his life with sincerity and conviction. He remained resolute in his principles, steadfast in his values, and resisted the worldly charms and temptations that surrounded him. One of the fundamental tenets of Stoic philosophy, which Marcus Aurelius adhered to with unwavering dedication, is the ability to discern between what we can control and what lies beyond our control. This concept, deeply explored by Epictetus, one of the foundational thinkers of Stoicism, 
serves as a cornerstone of Stoic wisdom. Understanding this distinction allows us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. It empowers us to focus our energy on our actions and responses, while relinquishing anxiety over external events that are beyond our influence. By embodying this principle, Marcus Aurelius taught us that true freedom lies in our thoughts and choices. He urged us to cultivate an inner fortress of tranquility, regardless of the tumultuous circumstances surrounding us. This mindset not only fosters personal peace but also allows us to approach life's adversities with a clear and focused mind. As we journey through this video, let's embrace the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, allowing his insights to guide us in transforming our own lives. Together we will explore how his philosophy can illuminate our paths toward a life of purpose, resilience, and serene contentment. Epictetus taught that, with the exception of our own actions and decisions, everything that happens is beyond our control. This understanding is not merely a superficial concept. It represents a profound insight that can significantly shift our perspective on the world and our interaction with it. In the practice of Stoic philosophy, we are not asked to completely distance ourselves from the world and its complexities. Instead, we are encouraged to embrace the reality of our limitations, allowing us to develop a realistic view of what we can and cannot change in our lives. Stoicism teaches that fixating on aspects of life that are beyond our control only leads to unnecessary burdens, particularly when life is inevitably filled with suffering and challenges. Often we find ourselves consumed by worries regarding factors that lie outside our sphere of influence, be it the opinions of others, the unpredictability of the future, or circumstances that arise without our consent. This preoccupation can undermine our emotional and mental well-being, making it difficult to navigate the ebb and flow of life with grace and resilience. When we allow external factors to dominate our thoughts and feelings, we risk becoming mere puppets in the hands of fate. In this state of reactionary living, we frequently place blame on those who appear to exert control over our lives, whether it's a demanding boss, a critical partner, or societal expectations. However, the truth is that we grant these individuals and situations power over us by allowing their actions and behaviors to affect us deeply. This external dependency not only saps our energy but also strips us of our agency and autonomy. The moment we begin to shift our focus away from these external influences and concentrate our energy on what we genuinely can control, our own actions, attitudes, and responses, we reclaim our power. In doing so, external influences lose their hold on our emotional state, allowing us to respond to life's ups and downs with a sense of composure and clarity. It is through this process of internalization and self-reflection that we discover true inner peace and emotional freedom. Adopting this stoic perspective empowers us to live more consciously and balanced, equipping us to face life's challenges with serenity and fortitude. Rather than being dominated by external circumstances, we cultivate an inner resilience that enables us to navigate adversity with a calm mind and a steady heart. Moreover, this practice fosters a deep sense of self-awareness, encouraging us to evaluate our reactions and thoughts critically. By doing so, we not only understand our triggers, but also learn to respond to them mindfully, choosing reactions that align with our values and principles. As we cultivate this awareness, we become better equipped to embrace life's unpredictability without succumbing to fear or despair. In essence, the teachings of Epictetus and the broader Stoic philosophy invite us to transform our relationship with the world. By grounding ourselves in what we can control, we can maintain a sense of agency and purpose, ensuring that we live our lives authentically and with intention. By internalizing these principles, we can achieve greater inner harmony and lead a more meaningful and fulfilling life. The remarkable ability of Marcus Aurelius to remain imperturbable in the face of circumstances beyond his control was a crucial factor in his effectiveness as a leader and as a human being. He embodied integrity, demonstrating a profound commitment to his values and responsibilities. His unwavering dedication to living according to his principles was not only a hallmark of his character but also a testament to the depth of his philosophical understanding. Marcus Aurelius's capacity to remain serene and focused on the tasks he believed the gods had assigned him speaks volumes about his profound wisdom and discipline. He understood that true strength lies in the ability to concentrate our energies on actions and decisions within our reach while calmly accepting the reality of those things we cannot change. This mindset is vital for navigating the complexities of life without succumbing to frustration or despair. For Epictetus, another prominent Stoic thinker, 
True freedom is defined by our ability to resist external forces and maintain inner integrity. He believed that this inner freedom is essential for achieving meaningful goals and living a satisfying, carefree life. The essence of this freedom lies not in the absence of challenges, but in our ability to choose how we respond to them. Epictetus emphasized that peace of mind and happiness do not hinge on external circumstances. Rather, they are rooted in our attitude and our control over our own reactions and choices. In this video, we will explore and interpret Marcus Aurelius's philosophy, focusing on how we can learn to worry less about things that lie beyond our control. We will delve into how his stoic approach can help us cultivate a more peaceful and meaningful life, highlighting practical ways to apply his teachings to reduce unnecessary worry and anxiety. One key aspect of Marcus Aurelius's reflections is his clear distinction between the present, the past, and the future. He provides valuable insights into how we often expend excessive mental energy, worrying about issues that may not warrant such concern. The teachings of Stoic philosophy encourage us to center our focus on the present, to live in full awareness of the moment, and to address challenges as they arise, free from anxieties about the future or regrets regarding the past. To provide clarity and structure to our exploration, let's begin with our tendency to worry about the future. As Seneca, another renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. This poignant quote underscores the notion that our thoughts about the future are often the true source of our suffering. The human mind has a proclivity to conjure hypothetical scenarios, many of which are highly unlikely to occur, and in many cases, never come to fruition at all. This propensity for imaginative suffering can lead us to experience anxiety over events that may never happen, draining our mental and emotional resources in the process. By recognizing this tendency, we can consciously choose to redirect our thoughts, focusing instead on what we can influence in the present moment. Marcus Aurelius invites us to examine our worries critically, to distinguish between what is worth our mental energy and what is not. He urges us to cultivate a mindset of resilience, encouraging us to meet life's challenges with courage and composure. Through this exploration, we will learn how to embody these stoic principles in our daily lives, fostering an environment where we can thrive, free from the shackles of unnecessary worry. Join us as we navigate the rich teachings of Marcus Aurelius, unlocking the tools necessary to cultivate a mindset of tranquility and purpose. By embracing the wisdom of the Stoics, we can navigate our lives with greater clarity and intention, transforming our relationship with worry and living more fully in the present. Worrying about the future leads us to imagine a multitude of possible scenarios, many of which are frightening and unpredictable. This mental exercise, often characterized by speculation and dread, can cause significant anxiety and stress as we grapple with the unknown and the potential impact of future events on our lives. The human mind, in its attempt to prepare for every possible outcome, can spiral into a cycle of fear and apprehension, creating a heavy emotional burden. In some cases, the things we fear actually come to pass, leading to a sense of validation for our worries. However, more often than not, the future surprises us in unexpected ways, confronting us with situations we weren't prepared for and that may have been entirely different from our imagined scenarios. Marcus Aurelius poignantly wrote about how we are oppressed by what we cannot control, highlighting that the essence of our suffering often lies in the way we respond to these uncertainties in the present moment. Worrying excessively about the future and fixating on aspects of life we cannot influence only serves as a means of avoiding the realities of the present. This avoidance can heighten our emotional and mental burdens, leading us further into a labyrinth of anxiety. Instead of becoming lost in conjecture and fear, Stoic philosophy encourages us to concentrate our energies on the present, confronting challenges as they arise with clarity and purpose. Therefore, the key to leading a life with less worry is learning to discern between what we can control and what we cannot. By focusing on the present and embracing the uncertainties of the future with an attitude of serenity and acceptance, we can cultivate a more balanced and resilient mindset. Internalizing these stoic principles and applying the lessons of Marcus Aurelius and other great philosophers of the tradition enables us to navigate life more calmly, with reduced anxiety and heightened clarity. It's interesting to reflect on how the future doesn't truly exist in the present moment. Yet when we obsessively worry about upcoming events, we inadvertently transfer these worries into our imagination, constructing elaborate scenarios that may never materialize. This habitual tendency can gradually make life unbearable, 
as these imagined futures haunt and plague our thoughts, stealing our peace of mind. By allowing these worries to occupy our mental space, we create an unnecessary emotional burden that diminishes our ability to fully engage with and enjoy the present moment. So what did Marcus Aurelius say about the perils of worrying too much about the future? One of his most poignant quotes is, Never let the future worry you. You will face it if necessary with the same weapons of reason with which you arm yourself today against the present. With this powerful statement, Marcus emphasizes that if you can approach the present with rationality and balance, you will be equally equipped to tackle the challenges the future may bring. He suggested that by focusing on the present and effectively managing what is within your grasp now, you cultivate the necessary capacity to confront any future challenges with confidence. Marcus Aurelius believed that the future is merely an extension of the present, shaped by the choices we make today. The ability to face the present with serenity and rationality translates into a robust capacity to address whatever lies ahead. This perspective encourages us to adopt a proactive stance toward life, embracing the notion that we possess the tools and wisdom needed to navigate whatever challenges the future may hold. In embracing this stoic mindset, we not only liberate ourselves from the shackles of excessive worry, but also empower ourselves to live more fully in each moment. As we practice this discipline, we find that our capacity to respond to life's uncertainties improves, allowing us to engage with the world around us in a more meaningful and fulfilling way. By focusing on the present, we can cultivate a sense of calm that permeates our thoughts and actions, paving the way for a life characterized by resilience, peace, and purpose. If you can handle your current circumstances wisely, that same approach will be equally effective when faced with the uncertainties of what is yet to come. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of not allowing the unknown aspects of the future to disturb your mental state in the present. This perspective aligns closely with the Stoic concept of amor fati, or the love of one's destiny, which embodies an unconditional acceptance of life's circumstances as they unfold. Marcus encourages us to embrace our lot, whether it be good or bad, with the confidence that if we can endure the current difficulties, we will similarly cope with the challenges that lie ahead. In other words, by accepting that the future is unpredictable and often beyond our control, we can approach these challenges with the same resilience and mental clarity that we apply to our present situation. This stoic acceptance does not imply passivity. Rather, it invites us to engage actively with life as it is, finding strength in our ability to respond to circumstances with courage and wisdom. When it comes to the past, Marcus Aurelius maintained a clear vision of life's ephemerality. He understood that time passes swiftly and that, much like the future, the past is also beyond our reach and control. What has been done is done, and unless we possess the power to manipulate time, it is impossible to alter what has already occurred. Human existence is confined to the present, to the fleeting moment that lies before us. All of life consists of moments that are perpetually anchored in the present, moments that have either already passed and dissipated, or moments that have yet to arrive. Therefore, worrying about the past is equally futile and unproductive as it cannot change the events that have transpired. The focus should be on the present moment, where our actions hold the power to make a tangible impact. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that excessive preoccupation with what is past or what is to come only diverts our attention and energy from what truly matters. Living fully and effectively in the now involves internalizing these principles and applying the lessons of Marcus Aurelius. By doing so, we can learn to live more peacefully and make better use of the present. Free from the weight of anxieties about the future or regrets about the past, this Stoic philosophy emphasizes that while the events of the past indeed shape our current circumstances, we must also recognize that we cannot intervene or modify the past. It lies beyond our direct reach and we cannot rewrite or alter what has already happened. However, this does not mean that the past lacks significance. On the contrary, it is through our experiences and the lessons learned that we can enrich our understanding of the present. Each moment serves as a building block for the future, influencing our decisions and shaping our character. What Marcus Aurelius advocates is a balanced approach, acknowledging the past for its lessons without allowing it to overshadow our ability to act in the present. In essence, by anchoring ourselves in the present, we cultivate a mindset that values the here and now, recognizing that this moment is where our true power lies. We can choose how we respond to our circumstances, learn from our past, and embrace the uncertainties of the future with confidence and grace. By embodying this philosophy, we can free ourselves from the shackles of worry and regret, 
allowing us to live with purpose, clarity, and a profound sense of peace. Ultimately, this stoic approach encourages us to cultivate mindfulness in our daily lives, actively participating in the present while maintaining a healthy perspective on both the past and the future. In doing so, we open ourselves to a life rich in possibility and fulfillment, grounded in the understanding that each moment offers an opportunity for growth, connection, and genuine contentment. The memories we carry about the past are often confused and distorted by our personal and emotional perspectives. It is common for our recollections to be filtered through our own interpretations and feelings, making it difficult to determine precisely what actually happened. Our pasts are typically composed of a complex mixture of memories, some of which can evoke pain, regret, or even nostalgia. When we attempt to revisit these events, we may find ourselves confronted with a mosaic of memories that are more a mental construction than an objective representation of reality. This intricate web of recollections can cloud our understanding of our experiences and lead to a skewed perception of our personal history. The tendency for many of us is to relive the pain associated with these memories, mistakenly believing that by focusing on the past, we can somehow exert control over it. However, this belief is an illusion. The past is gone. It has slipped through our fingers like grains of sand, and there is nothing we can do to change what has already occurred. It is common to wish we had done things differently, to entertain fantasies of alternate choices and outcomes, but these wishes are futile and impossible to fulfill. The quest to change the past often becomes a source of frustration and suffering, as these aspirations can never be realized. What remains is the crucial acceptance that we cannot alter what has transpired. Instead of fixating on past events and the emotions they elicit, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to focus on how we choose to deal with these events. While we cannot control what happened in the past, nor the circumstances that surrounded those experiences, we do have control over how we react to and process these events in the present. This distinction is essential, as the way we approach and interpret our past significantly impacts our overall well-being and our ability to move forward in life. Initially, we may perceive the past solely as a series of unfavorable and challenging situations. Perhaps we endured a difficult childhood, marked by hardships and trials, or we faced the painful dissolution of important relationships that we believed would last a lifetime. We might have encountered failures in business ventures or experienced setbacks in personal projects in which we had invested considerable hopes and dreams. However, it is vital to recognize that the past is not merely a collection of misfortunes. Rather, it constitutes an integral part of our personal journey. Every past experience, whether perceived as positive or negative, contributes to our evolution and growth as individuals. Each moment shapes our character, influences our beliefs, and informs our future choices. Instead of viewing the past solely as a burden, we can reframe it as an essential component of our trajectory through life. Our past experiences can serve as valuable lessons, offering insights that help us mature and develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. By adopting this perspective, we open ourselves to the possibility of growth and transformation. We begin to see our challenges not just as obstacles, but as opportunities for learning and self-discovery. For instance, difficult relationships may teach us resilience and the importance of healthy boundaries, while failures in our endeavors can impart lessons about perseverance, adaptability, and the value of humility. This shift in perception allows us to reclaim our narrative, viewing our life story as one of continuous growth rather than a series of regrets. Moreover, reflecting on our past with an attitude of gratitude can foster healing. Acknowledging the role of our experiences in shaping who we are today can empower us to embrace our journey, embracing both the joys and sorrows that have contributed to our unique path. By doing so, we cultivate a sense of compassion for ourselves, recognizing that our struggles do not define us, but rather enrich our human experience. In this way, we can learn to process our past constructively, enabling us to move forward with greater clarity and purpose. By integrating the lessons of our past into our present, we become equipped to navigate the complexities of life with wisdom and grace. This transformative approach not only enhances our emotional resilience, but also propels us toward a more fulfilling future, one where we are empowered to take control of our present and create the life we envision. Ultimately, by understanding and accepting our past, we can live more fully in the present and approach the future with a sense of possibility and hope. In this journey of self-discovery and acceptance, 
we come to appreciate the beauty of our individual narratives and the strength that arises from our lived experiences. By accepting and learning from the past, we can harness its lessons to improve our lives and shape our futures positively. Each experience we encounter serves as a solid foundation upon which we can build a more conscious and balanced existence. Marcus Aurelius's philosophy invites us to embrace a perspective of acceptance, urging us to learn from the past while focusing on what we can control, our attitudes and responses to the challenges we face. By internalizing these stoic principles, we can cultivate a healthier and more productive approach to dealing with our memories and experiences, promoting a greater sense of peace and fulfillment in our present lives. The difficulties and failures of the past have profound potential to teach us about ourselves. They offer us invaluable insights and a new perspective on life and the world around us. When we reflect on our past, we find a unique opportunity to explore our deepest limits and discover innovative ways to overcome them. Each challenge faced and every mistake made can transform into valuable lessons that, over time, enhance our resilience and better prepare us to confront future adversities. Rather than perceiving the past as a burden or a source of regret, we can interpret it as an integral part of our personal journey. Each experience contributes to shaping our character and fortifying our ability to navigate obstacles that lie ahead. By considering the past as a chapter in our story, we can appreciate it as part of our journey rather than the sole defining factor of our lives. This shift in perspective is essential for our emotional well-being and personal growth. Although past events are a component of our trajectory, they should not dictate how we live in the present or excessively shape our thoughts and decisions. Instead, we should utilize these past experiences as sources of inspiration and learning that propel us forward, allowing us to construct a better future. The past can serve as a guiding light, illuminating what we have already faced and demonstrating how we overcame challenges, but it should never become an impediment to our progress. For Marcus Aurelius, the critical aspect lies not so much in the substance of past events, but in the manner in which we deal with them. He prompts us to ask, can we truly consider something a misfortune if it doesn't violate the essence of human nature? This inquiry invites us to reflect deeply on our experiences and their significance. The essence of human nature, according to Marcus Aurelius, encompasses fundamental qualities that define us. Qualities such as justice, wisdom, honesty, and humility. In recognizing these virtues, we can assess our past experiences through a stoic lens, determining their true impact on our character and our journey. When we approach our memories with a focus on how they align with our core values, we can extract lessons that empower us. For instance, a failure in a previous endeavor might teach us about the importance of perseverance and adaptability, encouraging us to embrace challenges rather than shy away from them. Furthermore, embracing the virtues of Stoicism enables us to cultivate a mindset that values growth over perfection. We learn that making mistakes and experiencing setbacks are integral to our development, providing us with opportunities to refine our understanding of ourselves and our place in the world. By framing our past experiences in this light, we shift our focus from regret to gratitude, acknowledging the lessons learned that guide our future choices. Ultimately, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius remind us that our past does not define us. Rather, it is our response to our past that shapes who we become. By fostering an attitude of acceptance and learning, we empower ourselves to live with intention, making choices that align with our values and aspirations. This approach allows us to transcend the weight of our past, embracing the present moment with clarity and purpose, and moving confidently toward a future filled with potential. In conclusion, as we navigate our journeys, let us remember that the past is not merely a series of events, but a rich tapestry of experiences that can inform our growth. By accepting our history and learning from it, we can transform our relationship with our memories, ultimately leading to a life characterized by resilience, wisdom, and fulfillment. If an event doesn't affect our essential qualities, it can often be viewed from a different perspective. This invites us to question whether something is genuinely a misfortune if it does not contradict the essence of human nature. For instance, consider whether certain events in your life have prevented you from acting justly, prospering, exercising wisdom, demonstrating discretion, or being honest and sincere? If the answer is no, then the event may not be as disturbing as it initially appears. Marcus Aurelius suggests that the value of the past should be examined through the lens of human nature, encouraging us to reflect on how our experiences align with our core values. The past can serve as a guide that helps us observe patterns and learn from the cyclical repetitions of events. 
By understanding these patterns, we can draw valuable insights about our lives and infer the significance of past experiences in relation to the activity of human nature. This deeper comprehension of our history enables us to navigate the present more effectively, using lessons learned to inform our decisions and actions. This understanding leads to a more profound appreciation of the present moment. Marcus Aurelius recognized that the present is all we truly possess. It represents the narrow and limited field within our immediate reach. While the past is a vast expanse of experiences that has already occurred, and the future looms large and uncertain beyond our control, the present is the only space where we can actively engage and live our lives. The past has already passed, and the future has yet to reveal itself, making the present moment the only arena where our actions and choices can have a direct and tangible impact. However, it is common for us to find ourselves caught in a tumultuous struggle between dissatisfaction with the present and worry about the future. We may feel that life is not unfolding according to our expectations, or that our desires remain unfulfilled. When we cling to these dissatisfactions and anxieties, the present can transform into a torturous prison, shackling us with regrets and fears. The weight of future possibilities can overwhelm us, causing the present to feel ephemeral and frustrating. In this context, Marcus Aurelius's advice is both clear and practical. Make the most of the present moment. Accept it as it is without allowing yourself to be consumed by worries about what could have been or what could still be. The present is the field where we hold the power to act and shape our experiences, making our choices in alignment with our values and aspirations. By embracing and accepting the present, we can cultivate a sense of peace and satisfaction, regardless of our external circumstances. True freedom and tranquility emerge from focusing on what we can control in the here and now, allowing us to live each moment fully as it presents itself. This Stoic philosophy encourages us to relinquish our attachment to past regrets and future uncertainties, fostering a mindset that values presence and awareness. Marcus Aurelius is one of the great Stoic philosophers, advocated against clinging to what we have. This perspective reflects a profound understanding of human nature and the extent of our control over our lives. He reminds us that the essence of our existence lies in how we respond to the present moment, emphasizing that while we cannot change the past or predict the future, we can choose how we engage with the now. By adopting this mindset, we cultivate resilience, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure. Each moment becomes an opportunity for growth and fulfillment, rather than a source of anxiety or regret. This approach not only enhances our overall well-being, but also empowers us to live authentically and purposefully. In essence, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius guide us toward a life rooted in awareness, acceptance, and action. By grounding ourselves in the present, we can unlock the door to true contentment and peace, ultimately leading to a more meaningful existence. As we embrace the present with open hearts and minds, we embark on a journey toward personal transformation, learning to appreciate the richness of life as it unfolds. He believed that the course of the world, with its myriad events and changes, lies beyond our direct power. However, our reactions to these events are entirely our responsibility. This understanding is central to Stoic philosophy and offers a clear path for facing adversity with serenity and inner strength. Imagine, for instance, that you had a difficult childhood filled with obstacles and challenges. In a world where you might feel like a victim of circumstances, it is natural to view your past as a succession of misfortunes and injustices. However, according to Marcus Aurelius, what truly matters is not the nature of the events we encounter, but rather how we choose to respond to them. Instead of allowing yourself to be consumed by a victim narrative and fixating on past difficulties, Aurelius encourages you to channel your energy into understanding how these experiences have shaped and fortified your character. The goal is not to ignore or minimize the impact of these events, but to recognize that the real power lies in our response to them. Stoic philosophy teaches us to accept what we cannot change and to seek inner strength in the present moment. Marcus Aurelius viewed the laws of nature as essential guides for his conduct. He firmly believed that resisting nature or harboring anger and sadness toward it would lead us away from the path of harmony and acceptance. Instead, he advocated for the acceptance of events as they are, urging us to seek alignment with the natural order of life. This perspective fosters resilience, enabling us to adapt to changing circumstances and find peace in the face of adversity. Now imagine you are navigating a challenging period in your personal life, such as the end of an important relationship. It's entirely natural to experience feelings of sadness, despair, 
and even a profound sense of loss during such times. However, Stoic philosophy suggests that your approach to this situation should revolve around two main principles. First, accept the situation as it is. Recognize that the loss of a relationship is a part of life's inevitable ebb and flow. While you may not have control over the breakup itself, you do possess the power to control your attitude and reaction to it. Acceptance of the situation is the first crucial step toward finding inner peace. Acknowledging the reality of the moment allows you to release any futile resistance to what has happened, opening the door to healing and personal growth. Secondly, focus on your self-esteem and personal development. Stoic philosophy places significant emphasis on cultivating virtue and inner strength as essential tools for confronting life's challenges. Instead of wallowing in sorrow, use this opportunity to reflect on your values and goals, nurturing qualities such as resilience, wisdom, and compassion. Engage in activities that promote your well-being, whether it's pursuing a new interest, deepening your relationships with supportive friends, or dedicating time to self-reflection and growth. By internalizing these stoic principles, you empower yourself to emerge from adversity with a greater sense of self-awareness and strength. Rather than allowing external circumstances to define you, you begin to recognize that your true essence lies in your ability to respond to life's challenges with grace and integrity. Moreover, by shifting your perspective from what you have lost to what you can gain, you create a space for new possibilities to emerge. Every experience, including the painful ones, has the potential to offer valuable lessons that contribute to your overall evolution as a person. As you navigate through difficulties, remember that life is a series of events many of which are beyond your control. Yet, by embracing the teachings of Marcus Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers, you can cultivate a mindset that finds strength and acceptance in personal growth. This transformative approach allows you to face life's adversities with confidence, ensuring that you emerge from each challenge not only intact, but also enriched by the experience. Ultimately, the essence of Stoic philosophy lies in recognizing that while we cannot dictate the circumstances of our lives, we can certainly choose how we respond to them. By focusing on our internal landscape, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions, we can cultivate a life characterized by resilience, purpose, and profound peace. Use this experience as an opportunity to reflect on your personal growth and to reinforce your inner qualities. By doing so, you can transform a painful situation into a catalyst for development and self-understanding. Embracing adversity as a learning experience not only empowers you but also enriches your character. The Stoic approach suggests that by focusing on how we react to events rather than fixating on external circumstances, we can achieve an inner freedom that allows us to live more fully and meaningfully. Instead of being dominated by external events, you gain the ability to shape your own response, thereby influencing your overall experience of life. By following these Stoic principles, you embrace the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius finding strength in acceptance and self-understanding. This path not only aids in navigating adversity, but also fosters a greater sense of balance, peace, and fulfillment in your life. Rather than blaming yourself or succumbing to feelings of hopelessness, concentrate on your own development and building self-esteem from within. Cultivating solid self-esteem is fundamental for facing life's adversities with increased confidence and resilience. True power lies in our ability to fortify ourselves internally, regardless of external circumstances. By prioritizing personal development, you begin to see difficulties not as insurmountable obstacles but as valuable opportunities for growth. Thirdly, learn and grow. Every challenge faced offers a chance for learning and self-discovery. By perceiving the loss of a relationship or any setback as a lesson, you can identify areas for improvement and recognize how you can emerge stronger. Ask yourself reflective questions such as, what can I learn from this situation? And how can I use this experience to enhance myself? Delving into these questions can reveal new strategies for tackling future challenges, fostering resilience, and evolving into a wiser version of yourself. Moreover, embracing a growth mindset enables you to cultivate curiosity about your experiences. Rather than resisting the discomfort of setbacks, approach them with an open mind, willing to explore the insights they offer. This mindset shift not only nurtures your personal growth but also transforms your relationship with failure, enabling you to view it as an integral part of the learning process, rather than a definitive endpoint. Fourthly, live in the present. The practice of mindfulness is essential for liberating yourself from the clutches of the past and the anxieties of the future. Devote your time and energy to what truly matters in the moment. 
Engage in activities that bring you joy and satisfaction. Whether it's spending time in nature, practicing a hobby, or simply enjoying the company of loved ones. Seek pleasure in the little things and allow yourself to fully experience the richness of each moment. Mindfulness helps you to appreciate the present in a deeper, more meaningful way without becoming entangled in regrets or fears. Techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, and conscious awareness of your surroundings can ground you in the here and now, enhancing your ability to respond thoughtfully to life's challenges. Fifth, connect with the people around you. Social support is crucial for your emotional well-being. When feelings of loneliness or overwhelm arise, seek comfort and understanding from friends and family. Sharing your thoughts and experiences with others not only provides a sense of connection, but also fosters empathy and mutual support. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network can help alleviate feelings of isolation and reinforce your sense of belonging. Additionally, consider reaching out to others who may be experiencing similar challenges. By fostering connections with those who share your struggles, you can create a supportive community that encourages growth and resilience. Engaging in open and honest conversations can facilitate healing, allowing you to gain new perspectives and insights from shared experiences. In summary, embracing personal growth, learning from challenges, living in the present, and connecting with others are vital components of a fulfilling life. By adopting these practices, you not only navigate adversity with greater ease, but also cultivate a deeper sense of purpose and meaning in your life. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, you empower yourself to turn obstacles into opportunities, leading to a richer, more balanced existence. Establish deep connections with those who are important to you and allow yourself to receive help when needed. Social interactions not only provide emotional support, but also offer new perspectives and foster a sense of belonging. Building strong relationships with friends, family, and colleagues can create a safety net during challenging times reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. The support and understanding we gain from others can significantly enhance our resilience, helping us navigate life's difficulties with greater ease. Finally, control your emotions. Emotional management is a vital skill for living a balanced and satisfying life. Learning techniques to recognize and regulate your emotions is essential for personal well-being. Practices such as conscious breathing, meditation, and cognitive reevaluation can help you gain a deeper understanding of your emotional landscape. By mastering your emotional reactions, you empower yourself to take control of your life rather than being ruled by your feelings. This does not mean suppressing or ignoring your emotions. Instead, it involves acknowledging them and responding to them mindfully. It's important to remember that the extraordinary and successful external circumstances we encounter are often unstable, fragile, and changeable. True fulfillment comes not from these external factors, but from how we choose to navigate the events we face and our ability to adapt our attitudes and reactions in response to life's challenges. This is what truly matters and defines the quality of our lives. Focus on the things that matter to you and strive to live in the present regardless of the circumstances you face. Take the initiative to start changing what you can, even if it seems daunting. Just begin. Avoid comparing yourself to others. Such comparisons can lead to unnecessary self-doubt and anxiety. Instead, concentrate on what is right in front of you and take those first steps toward your goals. Transformation begins with small actions and daily choices, each one contributing to the greater picture of your growth. I hope you achieve the positive results you seek in your life. Remember that motivation can fluctuate, but it is essential to remain persistent and consistent in everything you do. Success is often the outcome of continuous effort and determination, even when inspiration seems elusive. Before I finish, I want to share an inspiring story about how Marcus Aurelius's philosophy completely changed the life of a man named David. David was a young man full of energy, yet his life was constantly overshadowed by stress and pressure. He worked every day in a large corporation, often feeling exhausted and unmotivated. As he navigated the demands of his job, David felt lost and overwhelmed by the weight of expectations placed upon him. In his search for clarity, David began to study Marcus Aurelius's philosophy on how to live meaningfully. His moral compass guided him toward the profound insights offered by Stoic wisdom. Immersing himself in Marcus Aurelius's writings, David found solace and guidance in the teachings that emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within one's control and accepting what cannot be changed. Deeply impressed by Marcus Aurelius's teachings, David decided to apply these principles in his daily life. 
He learned to approach the pressures of work with a newfound sense of calm, recognizing that while he could not control external circumstances, he could control his reactions to them. This shift in perspective enabled him to cope better with stress, allowing him to navigate challenges with greater resilience and clarity. As David began to implement stoic practices, he noticed significant changes in his outlook. He started to prioritize self-care, engage in mindful breathing exercises, and practice gratitude for the positive aspects of his life. The relationships he fostered with friends and family deepened, providing him with a supportive network that reinforced his commitment to personal growth. Over time, David transformed his mindset and lifestyle, turning what once felt like an uphill battle into a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. He embraced the idea that challenges were not obstacles but opportunities for growth, allowing him to develop greater emotional intelligence and resilience. As he aligned his actions with Stoic principles, David found a sense of purpose and fulfillment that had previously eluded him. This inspiring story serves as a testament to the transformative power of Stoic philosophy and its ability to guide individuals toward a more meaningful life. By adopting the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, anyone can cultivate the inner strength and wisdom needed to navigate life's challenges with grace and confidence. Stoic philosophy profoundly helped David focus on the truly important values in life, such as integrity, resilience, and inner peace. Thanks to Marcus Aurelius, David underwent a radical transformation. The stress and tension that had previously dominated his life diminished considerably, leading to a major shift in both his thinking and spirituality. David began to perceive life through new eyes, more balanced and happier, proving that ancient philosophy still possesses significant and practical relevance in our modern world. Worry often hangs over contemporary life like a shadow, serving as a heavy anchor that drags us down and prevents us from sailing freely through our experiences. This emotional weight keeps us tethered to the past or anxious about an uncertain future, hindering our ability to fully enjoy the present moment. It creates a restless mind that feeds an anxiety we often deem inevitable. However, what if I told you that this burden is not an irrevocable sentence, that there exists a path to inner peace, one that was wisely outlined by a great emperor and philosopher, Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius possessed a profound understanding of the nature of worry. In his meditations, he famously wrote, a man's life is what his thoughts make of it. This phrase encapsulates the essence of Stoicism. It is our perceptions of events, rather than the events themselves, that generate our suffering. Worry, therefore, is a product of the mind, a shadow we create for ourselves. Stoicism invites us to become aware of our thoughts, rigorously examining them, and dismantling the beliefs that perpetuate our worries. One of Marcus Aurelius's central teachings emphasizes the distinction between what we can control and what lies beyond our control. He wisely advised, Do not worry about things that are beyond your control, for they do not belong to you. This acceptance of fate embodied in the concept of amor fati, or love of one's own fate, frees us from the burden of trying to change the inevitable. By redirecting our energy toward what we can genuinely influence, we create space for deeper inner peace and resilience. To liberate ourselves from worry, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to live in the present moment, Instead of wandering outside ourselves, fix our attention inward. Don't wander outside, go inside yourself, he urges. In this inner realm lies the truth, a profound insight he emphasizes throughout his writings. By turning our focus inward, we can confront our thoughts, acknowledge our emotions, and cultivate a more authentic understanding of ourselves. David's journey illustrates this transformation beautifully. As he began to internalize these stoic principles, he noticed a marked decrease in his anxiety levels. He learned to accept the circumstances he could not change and to direct his energy toward personal growth and self-improvement. By practicing mindfulness and embracing the present, David discovered that he could find joy in the simple moments of life, whether it was savoring a cup of coffee, enjoying a walk in nature, or engaging in meaningful conversations with friends. Furthermore, as David deepened his understanding of Stoicism, he realized that worry often stems from a fixation on outcomes and a desire for certainty. He learned that life is inherently unpredictable and that striving for control over every aspect can lead to frustration and disappointment. By embracing uncertainty and accepting that life unfolds in its own rhythm, David found a sense of freedom and lightness that had previously eluded him. As he moved forward, David became a beacon of inspiration for others, sharing the wisdom he gained from Marcus Aurelius with those around him. 
He emphasized that Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions or avoiding challenges, but rather about cultivating resilience and a sense of purpose in the face of adversity. His story serves as a reminder that, while life may be fraught with difficulties, it is also filled with opportunities for growth, understanding, and joy. In conclusion, by embodying the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, David not only transformed his own life, but also inspired those around him to seek their paths to inner peace and fulfillment. Stoic philosophy offers timeless insights that can help us navigate the complexities of modern existence, encouraging us to focus on what truly matters and to live each moment with intention and clarity. Through the lens of Stoicism, we can confront our worries, embrace our realities, and foster a life of authenticity and balance. By focusing our attention on the present, worries about the future dissipate, and we find peace in the awareness of the moment. This emphasis on the present is not a denial of the challenges we face. Rather, it is a commitment to taking action in the now. Stoic virtue invites us to act with excellence in every moment, encouraging us not to obsess over the end result, but to engage fully with the task at hand. Marcus Aurelius poignantly suggests, do the best with what you have. This call to action reminds us that focusing on our actions and doing what is right in each situation helps to liberate the mind from the burden of worrying about outcomes. By adopting this proactive approach, we can let go of worry and cultivate a more engaged and less anxious attitude toward life. To develop this awareness and the ability to release worry, Aurelius practiced daily reflection. Every evening he would review his thoughts and actions from the day, seeking areas for improvement and assessing whether his worries had been useful or unnecessary. This ritual not only fostered self-discipline, but also provided him with valuable insights into his behavior and mindset. Imagine Marcus Aurelius sitting quietly, recording his thoughts on a scroll, delving into the depths of his own mind in search of wisdom. This process of self-analysis helped him to remain centered amidst the chaos of his duties as emperor. It allowed him to learn from his daily experiences and adjust his behavior accordingly, reinforcing the notion that life is a series of lessons, each offering an opportunity for growth. By following Marcus Aurelius's teachings, we can learn to view worry not as an inevitable fate but as a transformative opportunity to change how we live. By focusing on the present, accepting what we cannot change, and acting with virtue, we can free ourselves from the shackles of anxiety and embrace a more serene and meaningful existence. You too can benefit from this profound and transformative practice of daily reflection. By dedicating time each evening to contemplate your day, you not only review your actions and decisions, but also gain a clearer perspective on what truly upset you. This practice fosters self-awareness and promotes emotional intelligence, enabling you to respond to challenges with greater clarity and composure. Moreover, this process of introspection is essential for identifying the sources of your anxieties. It helps you to disentangle yourself from the ties that bind you to past regrets or an uncertain future. By acknowledging your feelings and examining their origins, you empower yourself to change your relationship with worry. You learn that it is not the events themselves that disturb us, but our perceptions and reactions to those events. Marcus Aurelius, with his profound wisdom, has bequeathed us a path to true inner peace. For him, genuine freedom and serenity are not found in the absence of problems or difficulties. They arise from our ability to confront these challenges with a calm and clear mind. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true freedom lies in our capacity to choose how we respond to adversities and hardships. He emphasized, choose not to be hurt, and you will not be hurt. This advice reveals the critical importance of controlling our thoughts and feelings rather than allowing them to control us. In cultivating this sense of inner freedom, we can navigate life's complexities with resilience. We learn to differentiate between what is within our power to change and what is not, enabling us to focus our energy on constructive actions. This stoic perspective fosters a mindset of acceptance and empowerment, encouraging us to embrace life as it unfolds while remaining committed to personal growth. Ultimately, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius guide us toward a life enriched with purpose and clarity. By practicing daily reflection and cultivating awareness, we can transform our relationship with worry, allowing us to live more fully in the present moment. This journey toward inner peace is not only transformative for ourselves, but also resonates with those around us, inspiring them to seek their own paths to serenity and fulfillment. By taking control of our thoughts and directing our attention to the present, we can better navigate adverse situations and act with excellence in each moment. The practice of reflection, as exemplified by Marcus Aurelius, 
involves a careful review of what has transpired during the day. This can be a powerful exercise in self-awareness. Ask yourself questions like, what truly upset me today? And are these worries justified, or are they merely reflections of my insecurities and fears? By engaging in this kind of introspection, you can identify patterns in your thoughts and emotions, gaining a deeper understanding of the sources of your anxiety. This self-analysis is not just a mental exercise. It is a practical method for gaining control over your emotional reactions and liberating yourself from unnecessary worries. By recognizing the thoughts and beliefs that contribute to your distress, you empower yourself to change your narrative. This insight can significantly enhance your emotional well-being as it shifts your focus from external circumstances to your internal responses. In addition to reflection, Marcus Aurelius teaches us to live in the present with full awareness. He encourages us not to become lost in thoughts about the future or bogged down by regrets about the past. Instead, we should concentrate our energies on the present moment, performing our actions with excellence and integrity. This mindful approach enables us to dissolve anxiety related to future uncertainties, allowing us to find a sense of peace in the awareness that we are doing our best with what we have right now. Living in the present with full awareness is a powerful antidote to anxiety. By embracing the here and now, we cultivate a mindset that appreciates life as it unfolds, recognizing the beauty in ordinary moments. This method of daily reflection, combined with an acute awareness of the present, can be transformative for your personal development. By integrating these practices into your daily routine, you move closer to a more serene and satisfying existence. Just as Marcus Aurelius found a path to inner peace and wisdom through his writings and reflections, you too can draw inspiration and guidance from his teachings. Remember that life is a continuous journey, filled with precious moments that have the potential to transform your experience. Each day brings new opportunities for growth and self-discovery, and it is through the lens of Stoic philosophy that we can learn to appreciate these moments fully. This video offers a glimpse into the value of life and the significance of your unique journey. The mind serves as the fertile soil in which the seeds of our reality are sown. Marcus Aurelius, the great Roman emperor and philosopher, reminds us that the happiness of our lives depends on the quality of our thoughts. This simple yet profound truth encapsulates the idea that our thoughts are the architects of our destiny. Cultivating peace of mind is essential for personal growth and overall well-being. By recognizing that our thoughts shape our perception of the world, we can adopt practices that train our minds to focus on the positive and constructive aspects of our lives. Daily practices such as meditation or simply taking a few moments to breathe deeply and reflect on the day ahead can significantly enhance this mental control. These exercises not only foster serenity, but also empower us to decide how we will respond to life's various situations. By consciously choosing our reactions, we develop resilience and emotional intelligence, key components in navigating the complexities of life. Additionally, engaging in activities that promote mindfulness, such as journaling or spending time in nature, can further strengthen our ability to remain present. These practices allow us to reconnect with ourselves, providing clarity and insight into our thoughts and emotions. The more we practice mindfulness and reflection, the more adept we become at managing our emotional landscape. In conclusion, by integrating the teachings of Marcus Aurelius into our daily lives, we can cultivate a mindset that prioritizes presence, reflection, and emotional mastery. This journey toward self-awareness and inner peace empowers us to lead a more meaningful and fulfilling life, free from the burdens of worry and anxiety. Remember that each day is a new opportunity to plant the seeds of a positive mindset and to nurture the garden of your life with care and intention. On a deeper level, learning to direct our thoughts is the first step toward leading a full and fulfilling life. As Marcus Aurelius explained, true mastery of the mind begins with the understanding that we are the masters of our own thoughts. For him, the mind is the crucible in which our reality is forged. He believed that the serenity of our inner self is paramount to achieving true happiness, and this happiness is intricately tied to the quality of our thoughts and our ability to interpret them constructively. To attain the much sought after serenity, it is essential to recognize that every thought we entertain is a seed we plant in the garden of our mind. This metaphor illustrates how our mental and emotional lives are directly influenced by the nature of our thoughts. How we can embrace a more conscious existence hinges on the understanding that our mental states are determined by the quality of our thoughts. If we plant seeds of doubt, fear, or anger, 
We are inadvertently nurturing negative emotions that will take root in our consciousness, ultimately leading to a harvest of anxiety, persistent worry, and a life filled with inner turmoil. Conversely, when we cultivate positive and constructive thoughts rooted in gratitude and compassion, we sow the seeds of an inner garden that will flourish with peace and contentment. Picture a neglected garden, overrun with weeds and toxic plants. Just as this garden struggles to thrive under such conditions, our minds become cluttered with chaos and disorder when negative thoughts dominate our consciousness. We can easily find ourselves ensnared in a cycle of self-imposed suffering, where worries and stress take center stage in our lives. However, by consciously choosing to cultivate positive thoughts, we create a mental space where serenity can take root and flourish. The process of nurturing a healthy mind requires discipline and consistency, much like a dedicated gardener who invests time and effort in tending to their garden. Removing weeds, those negative and destructive thoughts, ensures that healthy plants, representing positive emotions and thoughts, have the space they need to thrive. This nurturing process involves mindfulness, a practice that encourages us to observe our thoughts without judgment. By cultivating awareness, we can identify thoughts that do not contribute to our well-being and consciously replace them with affirmations of strength, hope, and positivity. For instance, instead of allowing fear of failure to dominate your thoughts, reframe it as an opportunity for growth and learning. This mental shift can be liberating, empowering you to approach challenges with a renewed sense of optimism. In addition, incorporating practices such as gratitude journaling can enhance this process. By regularly reflecting on the positive aspects of your life, you train your mind to focus on abundance rather than scarcity. This practice reinforces the cultivation of positive thoughts and helps to diminish the power of negative emotions. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with uplifting influences, be it supportive friends, inspiring literature, or positive media, can significantly impact the quality of our thoughts. These external sources can serve as reminders of the beauty and potential that exists in life helping to counterbalance the negativity that may seep in from time to time. Ultimately, the journey of cultivating a healthy mind is one of ongoing growth and self-discovery. Just as a gardener learns through experience what plants thrive and what conditions foster growth, we too can develop our understanding of what nourishes our mental and emotional health. As we cultivate awareness and practice discipline in our thinking, we create a flourishing inner garden that reflects the richness of our lives. By embracing this stoic approach, we can transform our relationship with our thoughts, ensuring that they contribute positively to our well-being. In doing so, we pave the way for a more serene, fulfilled, and meaningful existence, one where we actively shape our reality through the quality of our thoughts. The daily practice of meditation is a powerful tool for achieving mental control and fostering emotional resilience. It is not merely an exercise to calm the mind. Rather, it serves as a disciplined training regimen that allows us to focus our thoughts on what truly matters. Through meditation, we cultivate a deeper awareness of our thoughts and emotions, which enables us to observe our mental patterns without allowing them to dominate our lives. This heightened awareness is crucial for recognizing negative thought patterns that may hinder our well-being. In addition to meditation, incorporating daily reflection into our routine is equally vital. This practice involves analyzing our thoughts and actions, which allows us to correct the course of our mind and ensure that we continue to plant the right seeds for personal growth. By taking the time to reflect, we can identify areas for improvement, celebrate our successes, and realign our intentions with our values. This continuous process of self-examination and adjustment is essential for maintaining peace of mind and ultimately achieving lasting happiness. By integrating these practices into our daily lives, we can transform our experiences into a space of tranquility and harmony, where emotional storms no longer have a place and serenity becomes our natural state. This transformation is not instantaneous. It requires dedication and consistent effort. However, with time, the cumulative effect of meditation and reflection can lead to profound changes in our mental landscape, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Marcus Aurelius's message serves as a reminder that by mastering our thoughts and cultivating a peaceful mind, we can face life's challenges with a more balanced and positive outlook. He believed that happiness is within reach for those who are willing to invest in their inner lives. With dedication and practice, it is indeed possible to transform the mind into a flourishing garden where peace and contentment thrive, 
ultimately creating an environment conducive to a fuller and more satisfying life. The power of the present living in the now is a fundamental tenet of Stoicism, reminding us that the only moment we truly possess is the present. Marcus Aurelius articulated this principle clearly. Trust in the present, because it is the only thing you really have. This perspective is not merely a philosophical reflection, but an invitation to embrace a more balanced and fulfilling life. In an age characterized by constant distractions from the past and anxieties about the future, the ability to focus on the present moment becomes a vital skill for ensuring mental and emotional well-being. The practice of mindfulness is an essential tool for anchoring us in the present moment. Through mindfulness, we cultivate greater awareness of our thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations. This practice helps us to recognize and accept the present as it is, without judgment or attempts to alter it. By dedicating ourselves to mindfulness, we create a sanctuary of inner tranquility that allows us to appreciate the simplicity of the now. Breathing exercises also play a crucial role in enhancing our ability to live in the present. Techniques such as deep conscious breathing help calm the mind and facilitate a connection with the present moment. When we focus on our breath, we bring our attention back to the here and now, reducing the influence of worries about the future and regrets about the past. This shift in focus can significantly lower stress levels and foster a sense of clarity and peace. Moreover, incorporating mindful practices into daily routines can further strengthen our connection to the present. Simple activities like savoring a meal, taking a leisurely walk in nature, or engaging fully in conversations can enhance our ability to experience life in the moment. These practices remind us that life is composed of fleeting instances, each deserving of our full attention and appreciation. In conclusion, by embracing the power of the present and integrating practices like meditation, reflection, and mindfulness into our lives, we pave the way for greater emotional resilience and mental clarity. The teachings of Marcus Aurelius encourage us to cultivate a mindset that prioritizes presence, enabling us to navigate life's challenges with composure and strength. By committing to this journey of self-discovery and growth, we can create a life filled with tranquility, purpose, and fulfillment. The reality is that we often let the present slip away by fixating on what is past or worrying about what is yet to come. Marcus Aurelius wisely reminds us, trust in the present, for it is all you really have. This profound reminder serves as a clarion call to free ourselves from the chains of past regrets and the illusions of an uncertain future. By immersing ourselves completely in the here and now, we find genuine peace of mind. This shift in focus allows us to experience a richer and more meaningful existence as we engage with each moment with full awareness and purpose. In a world where anxieties about the future and regrets about the past can easily consume us, the practice of staying present offers a vital escape route to a more balanced and less anxious life. When we concentrate on the present, we liberate ourselves from the invisible chains that bind us to fears and expectations, allowing us to embrace each moment fully. Each moment is a unique and unrepeatable opportunity, a fleeting jewel that unfolds before us. Every second presents us with a chance to live with intentionality and purpose, to appreciate the beauty of existence in its myriad forms. True happiness and well-being are not found in an imaginary future filled with what-ifs or in a past that we can no longer alter. Instead, they are cultivated in the present moment, where we have the power to make conscious and meaningful choices. By embracing the present and living with an acute awareness of now, we open the door to a richer and more satisfying existence. In this space, inner peace and fulfillment can become integral parts of our daily lives, guiding us toward a more harmonious way of being. As you navigate the frenetic pace of the modern world, it is essential to remember that the present moment is the only constant amidst the chaos. Each moment is an unconditional gift, an opportunity to find joy, purpose, and connection throughout our journey. By paying full attention to the details of our experiences, whether it's the feel of the air on our skin, the warmth of sunlight, or the emotions that arise within us, we cultivate a more intimate and honest relationship with life. This level of awareness allows us to engage with the present in a deeper, more intense way, enriching our existence. The practice of mindfulness is a powerful tool for training our minds and anchoring ourselves in the present moment. Mindfulness helps us break free from the automatic responses that often govern our behavior, drawing us out of autopilot mode and prompting genuine connections with what is happening around us. Through techniques such as mindful breathing, meditation, or simply taking a moment to pause and observe, 
we can enhance our ability to remain grounded in the now. Additionally, incorporating mindfulness into everyday activities can deepen our appreciation for life. Whether we are eating, walking, or engaging in conversations, practicing mindfulness allows us to savor each experience fully. For instance, when eating, we can focus on the flavors and textures of our food, appreciating the nourishment it provides. During conversations, being fully present enables us to listen deeply, fostering genuine connections with others. By nurturing this awareness, we can transform mundane moments into profound experiences, recognizing the beauty and significance of even the simplest aspects of life. This commitment to mindfulness ultimately enriches our lives, enhancing our sense of well-being and fulfillment. In summary, embracing the present moment is a transformative practice that empowers us to live fully and authentically. By directing our attention to the here and now, we liberate ourselves from the burdens of the past and the anxieties of the future. As we cultivate mindfulness and awareness, we create a pathway to inner peace and a life filled with joy, purpose, and connection. Remember, the present is not just a fleeting moment. It is the essence of our existence, and by honoring it, we unlock the potential for a more meaningful and satisfying life. By adopting mindfulness, we learn to observe our experiences without judgment. Instead of labeling our experiences as good or bad, we accept them as they are, allowing us to respond more thoughtfully and wisely. This practice encourages us to cultivate a non-reactive awareness, which helps us to understand our experiences without the cloud of bias or preconceived notions. In this way, mindfulness teaches us to accept without resisting, fostering the understanding that resisting what is inevitable leads only to frustration. By embracing the moment as it is, we can find a profound sense of peace and acceptance, creating a solid foundation for personal growth and resilience. Moreover, mindfulness helps us respond wisely rather than impulsively. Often, our reactions are guided by ingrained habits and automatic patterns that may not serve our best interests. By becoming more aware of our thoughts and feelings, we gain the ability to choose our responses more consciously, leading to a more balanced and harmonious life. This heightened state of presence connects us not only with ourselves, but also with others, enriching our interactions and fostering deeper relationships. When we are fully present, we create a space of compassion, understanding, and inner peace that positively impacts our relationships. The constant practice of mindfulness enhances our emotional intelligence, allowing us to approach others with empathy and patience. As we cultivate this state of being, we become more resilient, better equipped to face life's challenges with serenity and balance. We are less likely to be overwhelmed by worries or distractions, allowing us to maintain our composure even in difficult situations. Mindfulness also teaches us to appreciate what we have in the here and now, finding satisfaction in the simple act of being alive. Instead of incessantly searching for more or something different, we learn to value what is already present in our lives. This shift in perspective invites us to live with renewed purpose, to act with integrity, and to connect with the very essence of what it means to be human. When we focus on the present, we discover beauty in the mundane, turning ordinary moments into opportunities for gratitude and reflection. Breathing exercises are another effective tool for anchoring us in the present. When we focus our attention on breathing, a simple and natural act, we bring our minds back to the present moment, away from distractions and worries. Conscious breathing serves as an anchor stabilizing our thoughts and helping to reduce anxiety and stress. The rhythm of our breath can ground us, providing a sanctuary amidst the chaos of daily life. Each breath can become a reminder of our vitality and the preciousness of each moment. By integrating the practice of mindfulness and breathing exercises into our routines, we can transform the way we live. Living in the present is more than a technique. It is a holistic approach to life that allows us to savor each moment find peace and simplicity, and act with greater clarity and effectiveness. This commitment to mindfulness is a pathway to a life imbued with meaning, purpose, and deep connection to everything around us. Adopting this lifestyle brings us closer to our true essence, unveiling a greater sense of contentment and fulfillment. As we embrace the practice of mindfulness, we cultivate resilience, nurturing our ability to navigate life's ups and downs with grace. This journey encourages us to explore our inner landscapes, allowing us to confront our fears, doubts, and insecurities with compassion and understanding. Furthermore, the effects of mindfulness extend beyond the individual. As we become more centered and grounded, we contribute to the collective consciousness of our communities. Our calm presence can inspire those around us, 
creating ripples of positive change in our relationships and social circles. By embodying mindfulness, we foster environments that value presence, authenticity, and connection. In conclusion, the practice of mindfulness and conscious breathing can profoundly impact our lives, allowing us to cultivate inner peace and a sense of purpose. By embracing the present moment, we open ourselves to a richer experience of life, marked by appreciation, resilience, and meaningful connections. This commitment to mindfulness not only enhances our well-being, but also illuminates the path to a fulfilling and joyous existence. Virtue as a guide, acting with excellence. Virtue, according to Marcus Aurelius, is the greatest good we can possess. In his meditations, the Roman emperor and philosopher emphasizes that the only true wealth is virtue. He reminds us that it is through moral excellence and alignment with our highest values that we discover the true meaning of life. Acting with virtue is not merely a noble aspiration, but an essential task for living in accordance with our deepest principles. Throughout his reflections, Marcus Aurelius describes virtue not only as an advantage, but as the very essence of a life well lived. He firmly believed that, unlike material possessions or social status, virtue is the only attribute that can provide lasting and authentic satisfaction. For him, virtue is the sturdy pillar on which we build a life of integrity and meaning. To act with virtue means to live in accordance with our highest values, those principles that define our true essence and guide us in every step we take. It is not simply about adhering to a set of rules. It is about committing ourselves deeply to ideals that transcend conventional morality. Virtue requires constant examination of our decisions and actions, ensuring that every choice we make reflects the best version of ourselves. This process involves daily introspection, where we analyze whether our actions align with our core values, thereby fostering a conscious engagement with our lives. This practice of virtue is comparable to fine craftsmanship. Just as a skilled artisan refines their work with care and precision, we must apply diligence and reflection to our moral choices. It requires patience, dedication, and an unwavering willingness to improve. By seeking to live according to our values, we cultivate qualities such as honesty, justice, temperance, and courage. These virtues not only empower us to live lives of integrity, but also inspire those around us to embark on a similar path of moral excellence. Moreover, virtue acts as a compass that directs us toward excellence in all aspects of our lives. It urges us to be more than mere rule followers. It challenges us to shape our character intentionally. Each choice becomes an opportunity to refine ourselves, allowing us to build a life that reflects the best of who we are. By embodying virtue, we develop a stronger, more resilient character that withstands the trials of life. Furthermore, living virtuously requires us to recognize the interconnection between our actions and their impacts on others and the world at large. Virtue invites us to act with empathy and responsibility, promoting collective well-being rather than merely individual gain. This holistic approach to virtue fosters a sense of community and shared purpose, reminding us that our choices resonate beyond our immediate circumstances. Ultimately, by committing to a life guided by virtue, we become architects of our own destiny. We have the capacity to create a legacy of goodness and integrity that transcends our own lifetimes. This dedication to excellence not only enriches our own existence but also contributes to the construction of a more just and harmonious society. By choosing virtue over fleeting pleasure or immediate gratification, we lay the groundwork for a solid and authentic character. In a world saturated with distractions and the allure of instant rewards, the decision to follow the path of virtue requires remarkable intelligence, inner strength, and deep conviction. It calls for us to rise above the noise of superficial temptations, steering our lives toward enduring values. This choice may not always be easy, but it is profoundly rewarding, as it aligns us with a purpose greater than ourselves. The pursuit of virtue also provides us with a framework for navigating life's challenges. When faced with adversity, our commitment to virtuous living serves as a guiding light helping us remain steadfast in our principles. It encourages us to approach difficulties with courage and integrity, reinforcing our resilience and adaptability. In conclusion, the teachings of Marcus Aurelius remind us that virtue is not a mere concept. It is a way of life. By integrating virtue into our daily actions and decisions, we cultivate a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that enriches our lives and those around us. In this journey, we become not just better individuals, but also valuable contributors to the fabric of our communities, leaving a positive mark on the world through our unwavering commitment to moral excellence. It is a conscious choice that demonstrates a commitment to true success, 
which does not lie in the superficiality of external achievements, but in the quality of our inner being. This commitment to virtue is not something that is established once and for all. Rather, it is a continuous practice that requires vigilance and introspection. In every daily decision, from the smallest interactions to the most significant choices, it is essential to reflect on whether our actions align with our highest principles. Choosing to act with integrity is the key to authentic success. When we choose to act with virtue, even in the face of temptations and challenges, we not only strengthen our character but also draw closer to a fulfilling and meaningful life. This ongoing commitment to virtue acts as a guiding light, illuminating our path and helping us navigate the complexities of daily life. Daily introspection becomes an invaluable practice that serves as an anchor on our journey toward excellence. At the end of each day, taking a moment to reflect on our actions and decisions allows us to assess whether we are living according to our principles and values. This habit not only aids in correcting our course when necessary, but also promotes continuous growth, enabling us to improve incrementally and move closer to our goals. Engaging in daily reflection can involve asking ourselves thought-provoking questions such as, at what moments today have I acted in accordance with my values, or where could I have acted more virtuously? This self-evaluation exercise provides us with a clearer view of our progress and highlights areas where we can still improve. By adopting this habit of reflection, we cultivate a stronger character and foster an environment around us where virtue and integrity are valued and aspired to by others. It creates a ripple effect, encouraging those in our circle to reflect on their own actions and consider the importance of living in alignment with their values. In this way, our commitment to virtue not only enhances our lives, but also contributes to a collective movement toward greater integrity within our communities. Ultimately, cultivating virtue is a path to long-term success. It is not merely about avoiding immediate pleasure or momentary gain. It is about building a life in which every choice and action aligns with our deepest values. This continuous practice of reflection and alignment with virtue provides us with a solid foundation upon which to construct a life of integrity, respect, and personal fulfillment. Resilience in the face of adversity. Strengthening your character through adversity is a crucial part of personal development. Adversity is an inevitable test in life, and it is during these challenging moments that our character is truly put to the test. Marcus Aurelius, the renowned emperor and Stoic philosopher, teaches us that the soul is fortified by resisting adversity. This profound lesson encourages us to view challenges not merely as obstacles, but as valuable opportunities for personal growth and development. When we encounter difficulties, it can be tempting to see them as setbacks or sources of frustration. However, by reframing our perspective, we can recognize that adversity provides us with essential lessons that contribute to our resilience. Each challenge we face equips us with the tools to handle future difficulties more effectively, helping us develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and our capabilities. Moreover, resilience is not just about bouncing back. It's about rising stronger and wiser than before. Embracing challenges with courage and determination allows us to cultivate qualities such as perseverance, adaptability, and emotional strength. These attributes are essential for navigating life's uncertainties and for building a robust character that can withstand adversity. As we confront life's tests, it is important to remember that we are not alone in our struggles. The shared human experience of facing challenges can foster connections and empathy among us, reminding us that everyone encounters hardships. By leaning on our support systems, friends, family, and community, we can find strength and encouragement to face adversity head-on. In conclusion, by actively choosing to cultivate virtue and embracing the lessons of adversity, we embark on a transformative journey toward a life rich in meaning and fulfillment. Each step we take, grounded in integrity and resilience, strengthens our character and enriches our lives. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, our character is ultimately defined by how we respond to life's challenges, shaping us into the individuals we aspire to be. Through this commitment to virtue and resilience, we become capable of creating a legacy of strength, compassion, and unwavering integrity. Instead of fearing adversity, we should see it as a chance to hone our inner strength and expand our capabilities. Developing resilience means learning to face difficulties with an attitude of learning and openness. Every challenge we face is a challenge to our inner strength. Every challenge we face is a lesson in disguise, an opportunity to strengthen our resolve and shape our character. Resilience is not just about withstanding life's blows, but learning to navigate them with grace and balance.
finding ways to turn adversity into an impetus for our personal growth. Life is inevitably full of challenges and adversities, and it is during these difficult periods that the true essence of our character is revealed. Marcus Aurelius, who faced countless trials during his reign, exemplifies how the soul is strengthened by what it does. Resilience is not just about withstanding adversity. Instead of running away from problems, we should see them as opportunities to cultivate our inner strength, develop our ability to face difficulties and find a new sense of balance and purpose. Adversity, far from being an enemy, becomes an ally that shapes us and refines our virtues while helping to banish our weaknesses. By overcoming challenges, we not only become who we were before, but we grow and broaden our perspective, accumulating wisdom and experience. Resilience is a constantly evolving cycle, where each experience, whether positive or negative, propels us towards a more complete and authentic version of ourselves. An effective practice for developing resilience is self-affirmation. By reminding ourselves daily of our inner strength and our ability to overcome any challenge, we create a resilient and positive mindset. Self-affirmation helps us stay focused on our qualities and abilities, reinforcing our confidence in our ability to face adversity with courage and determination. Reflecting on the difficulties we have overcome is also fundamental for personal growth. In doing so, we can see how each experience has shaped us, taught us valuable lessons, and prepared us to deal with future situations. This process of reflection not only strengthens us emotionally, but also gives us a clearer vision of our trajectory and the steps we need to take to keep moving forward. Therefore, by taking a proactive approach to adversity, practicing self-affirmation and reflecting on our achievements, we can build a solid and resilient character. Resilience is not just a response to suffering, but a fundamental quality that enables us to face any challenge with dignity and consistency, allowing us to live a full and meaningful life. 5. Self-discipline as a pillar of progress. Marcus Aurelius, the renowned emperor and Stoic philosopher, deeply understood that self-discipline is a fundamental pillar for personal development and progress. In his writings, he reminds us that true achievement comes not just from strength or intelligence, but from the ability to improve ourselves, to regulate our actions and emotions firmly and consistently. Self-discipline is the ability to maintain focus and determination, even in the face of the temptations and distractions that inevitably arise along our journey. For Marcus Aurelius, self-discipline is not limited to a mere restriction of pleasures or desires. It is a practice of directing our efforts and energy towards what really matters, aligning our actions with our highest values and life goals. True self-discipline is guided by reason and virtue, allowing us to act in a way that is consistent with what we consider to be best for ourselves and others. Developing self-discipline is fundamental to achieving any meaningful goal. It requires a clear understanding that our daily actions are the foundation on which we build our lives. Every little decision and choice we make contributes to shaping our character and determining success or failure in our endeavors. It is therefore essential that we cultivate a mindset that values the constant purpose of our actions. Practice of self-discipline. Self-discipline helps us resist instant gratification and focus on the long term. By mastering our desires and controlling our emotions, we can overcome challenges and stay the course even when circumstances become difficult. It's a skill that allows us to maintain our integrity and consistency, which is crucial for success in any area of life, whether personal or professional. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to reflect on how self-discipline affects our lives. Ask yourself, am I acting in a way that I don't want to? Am I acting in a way that I don't want to? Am I acting in accordance with my values? Am I making decisions that bring me closer to my long-term goals? The constant practice of self-examination and reflection is a powerful tool for strengthening self-discipline. By reviewing our actions and adjusting our behavior as necessary, we can continue to grow and improve. Self-discipline also involves establishing healthy habits and adhering to a routine that supports our goals. Creating a daily structure that favors productivity and well-being is essential for personal development. By doing so, we not only stay focused on our goals, but also create an environment that promotes success and fulfillment. In short, self-discipline is a vital element for progress and personal development. By cultivating the ability to regulate our actions and emotions, directing our efforts towards what really matters, we can achieve our goals and live a fuller, more satisfying life. By following Marcus Aurelius's principles and practicing self-discipline consistently, we can transform our potential into concrete and true fulfillment. Marcus Aurelius's principles and practicing self-discipline consistently 
we can transform our potential into concrete and true fulfillment. By following Marcus Aurelius's principles and practicing self-discipline, advises us to pay attention to our habits, highlighting the importance of recognizing and correcting those that take us away from our goals and values. For him, self-discipline is essential for personal development and the realization of our true potential. Every action we take must be carried out with a clear purpose, in complete harmony with our highest principles. It guides us to replace practices that lead us astray with habits that bring us closer to our true aspirations and values. Self-discipline is not just a matter of restraint. It is a matter of self-discipline. It is a matter of self-discipline. It's about directing our efforts in a focused way, guided by reason and virtue. It means having the ability to regulate our emotions and actions, which is crucial for avoiding distractions and ephemeral pleasures that can divert us from our true purpose. Marcus Aurelius reminds us not to succumb to fleeting temptations, which may offer momentary satisfaction, but which in the long run take us away from our goals and true fulfillment. Resisting these temptations strengthens our character, helping us to face challenges with greater strength and determination. Practicing self-discipline is an ongoing process that requires consistency and repetition. By cultivating positive habits and remaining firm in our decisions, we build a solid foundation for personal and professional success. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes that being true to ourselves and following a path of excellence, regardless of external circumstances, is the true path to freedom. Self-discipline from the Stoic point of view is not an end in itself, but a means to achieving true internal freedom. By mastering our actions and thoughts, we free our mind from the bondage of momentary impulses and desires. In this way, we become the architects of our own lives, capable of building a destiny based on wisdom and virtue. Self-discipline, therefore, allows us not only to maintain control over our actions, but also to cultivate a life of greater purpose and lasting satisfaction. By applying the principles of self-discipline taught by Marcus Aurelius, we are creating a solid internal structure that supports our journey towards a more meaningful life. Self-discipline is a powerful tool that helps us align our daily actions with our deepest goals and live according to the values we consider essential for a life well lived. 6. The Value of Humility Recognizing our limitations, Marcus Aurelius considered humility not just a virtue, but a cornerstone for personal development and continuous growth. For him, humility was not a sign of weakness, but of inner strength and profound wisdom. In his view, recognizing our limitations is a crucial step towards achieving a broader and truer understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Humility opens us up to new perspectives and knowledge, enriching our lives in ways that pride and vanity cannot. When we admit that we don't know everything and that there is always room for growth, we create an opportunity to learn from others, to grow and to continually improve. Humility is an invitation to introspection and sincere reflection on our actions and thoughts, helping us to be more confident in our actions and thoughts, helping us to identify areas where we can evolve and improve. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that by remaining humble, we avoid falling into the trap of pride, which can blind us and lead us away from the path of virtue. Pride often leads us to believe that we are superior to others, which can result in disrespectful behavior and a lack of empathy. In contrast, humility makes us recognize that we are part of something much bigger than ourselves, connecting us with the idea that we are just one part of a greater whole, whether we are a part of a greater whole or not. Whether in terms of community, society, or humanity, recognizing our limitations also gives us the courage to work on them. By accepting that we are flawed and not infallible, we create a space for genuine self-improvement. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to see our weaknesses not as reasons to feel inferior or defeated, but as opportunities to strengthen our character and develop our abilities. The practice of humility is also reflected in the way we treat others. When we are aware of our own imperfections, we are more compassionate and understanding of others' flaws and limitations. This helps us to build healthier and more meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes that we are all on a learning journey and that by practicing humility, we can help each other grow and improve. Finally, humility keeps us focused and balanced, preventing success or recognition from distracting us from our true purpose. Marcus Aurelius teaches that we must always remain grounded in reality, recognizing that all our achievements are temporary, and that our true mission is to live according to the principles of virtue and justice. Humility, therefore, is not just a moral quality, 
but a stabilizing force that helps us maintain perspective and keep us aligned with our highest values regardless of external circumstances. By practicing humility, we cultivate a life of meaning and purpose, aligned with true character and integrity. 7. Appreciation of Nature Connecting with the natural world, Marcus Aurelius deeply valued nature as a source of inspiration and wisdom. For him, observing nature was not just a way to escape the pressures of everyday life, but an essential practice for finding inner harmony and balance. Nature, with its intrinsic beauty and natural order, offers valuable lessons on simplicity and constancy, teaching us to recognize our connection with the universe and the order that governs it, reconnection and reflection. Connecting with the natural world gives us a respite from the noise and distractions of modern life. By immersing ourselves in the tranquility of nature, we find a space conducive to reflection and self-knowledge. Marcus Aurelius saw contemplating nature as a way of recharging our energies and finding inner peace. This direct contact with the natural environment reminds us of the impermanence of all things and helps us to live in harmony with our surroundings. Resilience and Adaptability Nature offers us an exemplary example of resilience and adaptability. Marcus Aurelius admired the way living beings thrive despite adversity, following their natural course without resistance or complaint. This observation inspires us to accept changes and challenges in our own lives with the same serenity and fluidity. By recognizing that everything is part of a larger cycle, we learn to face our own difficulties with more grace and tranquility, gratitude and simplicity. The practice of appreciating nature also instills in us a deep sense of gratitude for the little things in life. Marcus Aurelius believed that by tuning into nature, we develop a more authentic appreciation for what is essential, while letting go of what is superfluous. This recognition helps us to live more simply and focus our attention on what really matters, appreciating the beauty and simplicity that surrounds us, responsibility and sustainability. Finally, Appreciation of nature reminds us of our responsibility to protect and care for the world we live in. Marcus Aurelius saw the planet as a home shared by all living beings and encouraged us to act with respect and consideration. Cultivating a genuine connection with nature guides us towards a more conscious and sustainable life, promoting harmonious coexistence with the planet and other forms of life. By adopting practices of preservation and respect for nature, we contribute to a more balanced and healthy future for everyone. Marcus Aurelius faced death with a serenity that is only possible with a deep understanding of the nature of life and mortality. For him, accepting death was not an act of pride, not an act of resignation, but a way of living with more intensity and purpose. This acceptance does not mean surrendering to inaction or apathy, but embracing the finitude of life as an opportunity to redirect our actions and thoughts towards what really matters. By constantly reflecting on our mortality, we are encouraged to live more fully and meaningfully. This constant reminder of our own finitude forces us to reevaluate our priorities, focus our energies on the things that have real value, and let go of the trivial concerns that often cause us to think about the future. We can consume our time and attention. Recognizing that life is finite helps us to focus on the essential while freeing us from ephemeral distractions and unfounded fears. Acceptance of death, according to Marcus Aurelius, is a form of inner freedom. It frees us from paralyzing fear and allows us to face life with greater courage and determination. When we accept that death is an inevitable part of existence, we gain a new perspective on the time we have and how to use it in a more productive and meaningful way. This understanding encourages us to live more fully and meaningfully. It encourages us to live each day with a clear and defined purpose, to make meaningful contributions to the world and to act in accordance with our deepest and most authentic values. Marcus Aurelius also emphasizes the importance of seeing death as an opportunity to value every moment of life. Instead of focusing on superficial aspects or minor concerns, we learn to appreciate the little things, find beauty in everyday experiences, and cultivate gratitude for every moment. The practice of remembering death, or memento mori, starts with the idea of remembering death. It serves as a guide to keep our priorities in order and to focus on what really matters. Reflecting on mortality leads us to consider the legacy we want to leave. Marcus Aurelius invites us to think about how we will be remembered and the impact our actions will have on the world. This practice of reflection not only guides us to live with integrity, but also to ensure that our contributions are meaningful and in line with our highest principles. 
Life, when lived with a clear purpose, allows us to leave a legacy of wisdom, virtue, and positive impact. Living with purpose, according to Marcus Aurelius, also implies acting with honor and dignity, regardless of external circumstances. By facing mortality with a calm and fearless mind, we can direct our attention to what really matters, seeking to live with authenticity and alignment with our values. In this way, the acceptance of death becomes a powerful motivation to build a meaningful and impactful life and to contribute positively to the world around us. By reflecting on our lives, we are inspired to adopt a more conscious and dedicated approach to life. This approach helps us to cultivate a deep sense of gratitude, strengthen our bonds with others, and seek a balance between what is lasting and what is fleeting. Ultimately, accepting death gives us the clarity we need to live fully and impactfully, creating a legacy that transcends our physical existence and endures through time. 9. Strength in Solitude Finding inner peace, Marcus Aurelius valued solitude as an essential space for introspection and personalization. For him, solitude was not simply a state of social isolation, but a profound and enriching opportunity to reconnect with oneself and discover inner peace. In a world full of distractions and noise, finding time for solitude allows us to move away from external pressures and immerse ourselves in a more intimate and truthful dialogue with our own thoughts and feelings. By learning to be alone with our thoughts, we develop an inner strength that manifests itself in our ability to face challenges with remarkable serenity and resilience. Solitude, as interpreted by Marcus Aurelius, is a vital means of understanding and confronting our deepest emotions and thoughts, allowing us to gain clarity about what we really want and to identify the necessary changes in our lives. During these periods of solitude, we have the chance to reflect on our true essence and our deepest goals. This reflection not only strengthens our ability to make wise decisions, but also helps us to act with a more defined purpose. The practice of solitude teaches us to free ourselves from the need for external validation, which can often be a source of distraction and insecurity. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that true strength comes not from the approval or acceptance of others, but from self-confidence and self-acceptance. By finding peace in solitude, we develop an emotional independence that allows us to maintain our convictions and act with integrity, even in the face of criticism, rejection, or external pressure. This independence enables us to act according to our own principles and values, without being restricted by our own self-confidence. By being influenced by the judgment of others, solitude also serves as a space for reflection and spiritual growth. Marcus Aurelius often used his moments of solitude to meditate on fundamental questions of life, such as the nature of existence, the inevitability of death, and the purpose of his own journey. This kind of introspection not only promotes a deeper alignment with our highest values, but also helps us to live a more authentic and meaningful life. In addition, the strength of solitude prepares us to face adversity with greater firmness. Marcus Aurelius knew that life is full of challenges and that the ability to find peace in solitude is crucial to maintaining calm and composure during difficult times. By cultivating this inner strength, we are able to face obstacles with a clearer mind and a stronger spirit. In short, solitude is a space for introspection and self-evaluation which gives us the strength we need to face life with courage and wisdom. It is a means of finding the inner peace and self-confidence that allow us to live in harmony with our circumstances and prepare for the challenges ahead. By embracing solitude as an opportunity for personal growth, we discover the true strength that resides within us and apply it to our journey through life. 10. Appreciate what we have. Marcus Aurelius saw gratitude as an essential virtue for a full and meaningful life. For him, gratitude was not just a response to moments of happiness, but a constant attitude of appreciation for all that life has to offer, both the good and the bad. To understand the value of gratitude, according to Marcus Aurelius, it is important to consider that he lived at a time of great challenges and adversity. Even in the face of the difficulties he faced as Roman emperor, he maintained a perspective of gratitude. He believed that gratitude is a way of accepting life as it is, recognizing that every experience, positive or negative, contributes to our growth and learning. This view teaches us to see life not as something that happens to us, but as something we are part of and from which we learn lessons. 11. Gratitude for Life Gratitude for Life Gratitude, according to Marcus Aurelius, is a way of cultivating a mindset of abundance. By appreciating what we have, we learn to see opportunities in every situation, instead of focusing on what we lack. 
This change of perspective allows us to find joy in the little things and helps us to appreciate the present. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that recognizing and appreciating what we have is not a denial of difficulties, but rather a way of highlighting the good things and positive aspects of our lives. Gratitude also helps us to understand the interconnectedness of all things. When we appreciate what we have, we recognize that everything in life is a gift, whether it comes from our own actions or from external circumstances. This recognition leads us to live with humility and to value the contribution of others to our well-being. Marcus Aurelius teaches that this perspective of interconnectedness not only promotes a greater sense of purpose, but also helps us to understand the future, helps us to build more meaningful and authentic relationships. In addition, the practice of gratitude has a profound impact on our mind and emotions. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we strengthen our ability to face adversity with an optimistic attitude. Gratitude transforms our focus on what is really valuable, making us happier and more satisfied. This change in perspective can act as a shield against negativity and hopelessness, allowing us to remain calm and resilient even in difficult times. Gratitude not only improves our personal well-being, but also enriches our relationships with others. By expressing our appreciation for the people in our lives, we strengthen our bonds and foster an atmosphere of reciprocity and mutual support. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that gratitude is an act of generosity, and that by showing appreciation for others, we inspire others to act with kindness and consideration. Gratitude creates a positive cycle of support and benevolence that contributes to a more cohesive and harmonious community. Ultimately, gratitude leads us to live with greater purpose and meaning. By adopting this practice, we not only enrich our own lives but also contribute to a kinder, more connected world. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that gratitude is a powerful tool for transforming our everyday experience and helping us to find a deeper and more lasting meaning in life. By appreciating what we have, we become more aware of how we use our resources and our time. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that by practicing gratitude, we not only feel more satisfaction in the present, but we also build a richer and more meaningful life, full of purpose and connection with the world around us. Daily Practices, Inspired by Marcus Aurelius The path of Stoic wisdom inspired by the teachings of Marcus Aurelius is an invitation to build a life full of meaning, resilience, and inner peace. By applying these lessons in your daily life, you will not only gain greater control over your life, but also gain greater control over your life. You will not only gain greater control over your thoughts and actions, but you will also discover that true power resides in your mind and within. Adopting these practices will not only improve your quality of life, but will lead you on a path of continuous self-improvement, where every day is an opportunity to be better, to live with more purpose, and to find true peace and contentment in your existence. Marcus Aurelius's teachings, compiled in his asterisk meditations, offer a timeless guide to living a full, balanced, and meaningful life. Let's explore today's 10 daily practices inspired by his philosophy that you can adopt to improve your well-being and find serenity in the chaos of modern life. 1. Morning Reflection Preparing the Mind for the Day Morning reflection is the act of setting aside time each morning to prepare the mind before facing the challenges of the day. It involves anticipating possible difficulties and remembering the stoic principles that will guide you throughout the day. When you wake up each morning, take a moment to meditate on what is really important in your life. Marcus Aurelius advises us at dawn when you find it difficult to get up. Bear in mind that I am awakening to the work of man. This simple reflection can change your perspective transforming the act of getting out of bed into a commitment to your life's purpose. Marcus Aurelius advised starting the day with a meditation on human nature and the difficulties of life. Prepare your mind for the day. In his meditations he writes, Today I will encounter interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness. This practice prepares you mentally to face any obstacle with serenity and resilience. It allows you to start the day with a realistic outlook and a positive attitude which reduces stress and anxiety. Spend every morning meditating in silence. Think about the challenges you might face and how to react calmly and wisely. You can write down your thoughts in a journal to strengthen your focus. Imagine you have an important meeting at work. Reflect on the possible difficulties such as criticism or disagreements and how you will respond without losing your cool. How can you start your mornings with a more serene and prepared attitude? 
What challenges do you foresee for today and how can you approach them from a stoic perspective? 2. Control your emotions. Practice imperturbability. Controlling your emotions means keeping calm in situations that would normally provoke an intense emotional response. It is the art of not getting carried away by anger, fear, or anxiety. Marcus Aurelius taught the importance of imperturbability and in the face of external events. In his meditations, he states, Practicing emotional control helps maintain inner peace, regardless of external circumstances. It promotes mental clarity, reduces stress, and improves interpersonal relationships. When faced with an emotionally challenging situation, take a deep breath and remember that only you control how you react. 3. Acceptance of Fate Imor Fati or love of destiny is the practice of accepting all of life's circumstances, whether good or bad, as necessary and beneficial for personal growth. Marcus Aurelius reflected on the importance of accepting what cannot be changed. In his meditations he wrote, Love only what happens to you and what is woven into the fabric of your destiny. Acceptance of fate reduces internal resistance and allows you to find peace in the midst of difficulties. Promote a resilient and adaptable mindset, allowing you to see opportunities where others see problems. When faced with a difficult situation, remember that everything happens for a reason and that you can learn something valuable from every experience. Make a conscious effort to find the silver lining in every challenge. If you lose a job instead of despairing, accept the situation and look for new opportunities for personal growth. What aspects of your life have you resisted? How could you better accept fate and find valuable lessons in your current experiences? 4. Memento Mori Remembering Mortality Memento Mori is the practice of remembering the inevitability of death as a way of motivating oneself to live fully in the present. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius writes, You can leave life now. Let it determine your life. Remember what you do, say, and think. This reminder of the brevity of life is a call to enjoy every moment. Remembering that life is finite helps you prioritize what really matters. Let go of trivial concerns and live with more purpose and clarity. Incorporate meditation on death into your daily routine. At the end of each day, reflect on whether you lived according to your values and used your time meaningfully. Remember that life is finite. This helps you prioritize life. If you feel stuck in an unfulfilling job, remember that your time is limited and think about how you can make changes to live a life more in line with your passions and purpose. How does the idea of your own mortality affect you? Are you living in a way that wouldn't leave you regretting it if today were your last day? 5. Daily Gratitude Appreciate what you have. Practicing daily gratitude means taking a moment every day. Reflect on the blessings in your life and be grateful for what you have rather than focusing on what you lack. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of recognizing and appreciating what you have. In meditations, he writes, Don't focus on what you don't have as if it were too much, but on the blessings you possess. Daily gratitude helps cultivate a positive mindset, improves your emotional well-being, and strengthens your relationships by appreciating people and things more. 6. Keep a Golgotha Gratitude journal in which you write down three things you are grateful for every day. It could be something as simple as a delicious meal or a pleasant conversation. At the end of a difficult day, instead of focusing on what went wrong, write in your journal about the little things that went right, such as the support of a friend or a walk in the fresh air. What aspects of your life have you taken for granted? 6. Service to others living for others. Service to others is the practice of contributing to the well-being of others by acting with compassion and generosity in your daily interactions. Marcus Aurelius saw service to others as a fundamental duty. In meditations, he states that nature gave him all his fellow human beings to love and serve. Service connects you to a purpose greater than yourself, gives you satisfaction and a sense of belonging, and strengthens your social bonds. Find small ways to serve others every day. It could be through acts of kindness, volunteering, or simply offering your time and attention to someone in need. 7. Helping accompanying a colleague with a complicated task or listening attentively to a friend who needs to vent are ways of practicing service in everyday life. How can you integrate more acts of service into your daily life? Who could you help today and how could this benefit you too? 7. Moderation, Practice Temperance Moderation is the practice of exercising control over your desires and habits, avoiding excesses in all areas of your life from food to work. It is a misfortune when the soul surrenders to pain in order to obtain pleasure. 8. 
Meditation. It is a misfortune when the soul indulges in pain and pleasure, laziness or restlessness. Moderation helps you maintain balance in your life, avoiding the extremes that can lead to physical and emotional exhaustion. Encourage greater discipline and self-control. Evaluate your daily habits and look for areas where you can reduce excesses. Set clear boundaries in your life such as defined working hours, a balanced diet and sufficient time for rest. If you tend to work too much, end the working day and make time for activities that relax and recharge you, such as reading a book or going for a walk. Similarly, if you tend to overeat, consider reducing your portions and paying more attention to your body's satiety signals. Are there areas in your life where you tend to overindulge? How could you practice moderation more consciously, and what benefits do you think you could gain from it? Practice Silence The Stillness of the Mind Practicing silence is the discipline of creating moments of mental and physical stillness in your day. It allows you to disconnect from external and internal noises in order to focus on inner peace. Marcus Aurelius placed great value on stillness and silence as a means of achieving greater mental clarity. In meditations, he writes that the tranquility that comes from the stillness of the mind is like the light that comes from the sun. Silence allows you to recharge your energy, clarify your thoughts, and reduce stress. It promotes greater self-awareness and helps you make more considered and less impulsive decisions. 8. Incorporate your thoughts and thoughts into your daily life. This can be done in the morning before you start your day, during a walk in nature, or simply by switching off your electronic devices for a certain period of time. If you work in a noisy or distracting environment, find a quiet space where you can spend a few minutes in silence to regain your balance and concentration. When was the last time you allowed yourself a moment of true silence? How could this regular practice positively affect your mental and emotional well-being? 9. Incorporate your thoughts and insights into your daily life. The examination of conscience is an evening practice in which you reflect on your day, analyzing your actions, thoughts, and decisions to assess whether you have lived according to your principles. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of constant self-reflection. In written meditations, at the end of the day, you analyze your actions and consider whether you did what you should have done. This practice allows you to learn from your daily experiences, correct your mistakes, and make adjustments for the future. It encourages confidence, continuous personal development, and helps you to maintain a life in line with your values. Before going to sleep, take a few minutes to mentally review your day. Ask yourself what you did well, what you could have done better, and what lessons you can take into the next day. Record your thoughts in a diary. If you had a disagreement with someone during the day, Reflect on how you handled the situation and whether you could have been more stoic. Think about how to improve your interactions in the future. What has today taught you about yourself? What areas of your life need more attention and improvement, and how can you work on them from tomorrow? 10. Detachment Let go of what you can't do. Detachment is the practice of letting go of the things you can't control, be they people, situations, or outcomes, and focusing on what you can influence. Your thoughts, actions and reactions. Marcus Aurelius insisted on the importance of focusing on what is within our control. In his meditations, he says, choose not to be hurt and you won't feel hurt. Don't feel harmed and you won't be harmed. Detachment frees you from the anxiety and stress of trying to control the uncontrollable. It promotes inner peace and allows you to live with more freedom and less fear of failure or loss. Whenever you worry about something beyond your control, Remember that the only response you can control is your own. Consciously practice detachment by focusing on your actions and letting go of the need to control the outcome. If you're waiting for the results of an important project, instead of trying to control it, you're trying to control it. Oh, instead of obsessing over the outcome, focus on the effort and dedication you put into the work, accepting that the end result is out of your control. What aspects of your life have caused you anxiety because they are out of your control? How could you apply stoic detachment to find more peace and balance? In conclusion, adopting a stoic approach to modern life, inspired by the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, can profoundly transform the way you live. The daily practices described here will not only help you achieve a state of inner peace, but will also give you the tools you need to face challenges with wisdom and strength. Living a full, balanced, and meaningful life requires conscious and continuous effort. Marco Aurelius's teachings offer clear and active guidance to make the development of your life a conscious and continuous effort.
It's an accessible guide for anyone willing to embrace Stoic philosophy and apply its principles to everyday life. Through reflection, emotional control, acceptance, and other fundamental practices, you can cultivate a life rich in purpose, resilience, and self-control. If you're a Stoic, you're a Stoic. If you're a Stoic, you're a Stoic. If you're a Stoic, you're a Stoic. Remember that the path to self-improvement is a constant journey. Reflect on each of these practices and consider how you can integrate them into your life. Change won't happen overnight, but with perseverance and dedication, you can develop a life that reflects the Stoic values and legacy of wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and comment so that YouTube knows that these types of videos help people like you, and so that we can continue to create more similar videos in the future.